The commencement of signature collection in furtherance of recall proceedings against the Senator representing Kwara South at the 8th National Assembly, Senator Rafiu Adebayo Ibrahim, holding today, Wednesday, 2nd of May 2018, in the Asian city of Ofakwara, state of Nigeria. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press, members of our strong and vibrant forum, Kwara South Unity Forum. It gives me great pleasure to address you on this glorious day and permit me to again welcome you to this Asian city of Ofakwara state, the commercial center of Kwara South and center of progressive politics in Kwara state. We are today's press conference unveiling the recall process against the senator representing Kwara South Senatorial District. Senator Rafi Adebayo Ibrahim is being held. You will rightly remember that some months ago, specifically on the 23rd of December 2017, Kwara South Unity Forum, ably led by its president, Comrade John Olawani Adegui, granted a press conference in this Asian town to intimate Nigerians and the global world at large about the intention of the good people of Kwara South Senatorial District to recall our non-performing and completely docile Senator, Senator Rafi Adebayo Ibrahim. You will also remember that certain unscrupulous individuals masquerading either as Kwara South Senatorial political leaders, Kwara South town elders, and youth organization members came out to have their own say in a bid to show the world that Senator Rafi Ibrahim has wide support within his constituency. We were silent not because we didn't have replies to their various statements, but because as 21st century compliant individual, it isn't necessary or credit worthy for serious-minded go-getters to engage in verbal confrontation with political profiteers, profiteers and higher political machineries with the likes of Senator Chief D.C. Oyewo, Alaji Jima Balogun and Tijani Olaigbe and Comrade Kazim Adikkanya, amongst others, are. Since our intention was either to state it to the right audiences, which include the good people of Kwara South and the generality of Nigerians, we immediately went into action to ensure that this process, which we announced, sees the light of the day. While they were busy abusing, causing, and exposing their idiosyncrasies to Kwarans as a whole, we were busy working behind the scenes sustaining viable structures that are enduring and timeless, which will ensure the success of the recall process. For the avoidance of doubts, and also to clarify certain issues that were raised by some concerned individuals, we will today give clear explanation of various insinuations, allegations, and innuendos that you, the unsuspecting general public, may not be aware of. Let me start by making a list of some of these issues are raised by some of those unscrupulous elements which have been earlier listed and other issues which may simply be, be the innocently honest thought of people on the streets. There is this unfortunate, unfortunate and outrageous spreading among the general public that we are acting the script of the current executive governor of Kwara State, Alaji Abdul Fattah Afonso Ahmed. It will be observed that Governor, uh, Governor Ahmed's eight years tenure is slowly drawing to conclusion, and there is need to think about his future outside the Amadi Bailoway government house. It was reported by certain elders in the Goso town, namely Senator B.C. Oyewo and Alaji Tijani Olaegbe, that the president of Kwara South Unity Forum, Comrade John Olawale Adegbuye, is not a member of the All Progressives Congress. It is a certain Kazim Adeka in a televised reaction said that we are simply out to score cheap popularity and offer that we should engage in dialogue as if we were mere attention seekers. The Kwara South All Progressive Congress APC Senatorial Chairman Alaji Jima Balogu, in his own saying called us political rascals who are unknown in our constituencies. We also gathered from certain online commentaries credited to sources which would later prove to be individuals having 
questionable standing whose loyalties are only to anyone providing them with free money. They said by our move, boys are looking for money.